FBI investigation came to a dramatic end this week in Northeast Albuquerque. Authorities say the man who was shot and killed by FBI agents on Wednesday was a prominent Southeast Albuquerque gang leader tied to drugs, guns and prostitution. News 13's Francesca Washington is here with details. According to a federal court search warrant, 31 year old Marquez Floyd was a leader in a Bloods affiliated gang called KTP. Albuquerque Police Chief Harold Medina says the 2019 murder of UNM baseball player Jackson Weller prompted the 20 month long investigation into KTP after a member of that gang was arrested and charged for Weller's murder. That was the catalyst when we really identified the group and started really focusing and looking at them. It took us some time to get the resources in place. This week, FBI agents were attempting to serve a search warrant on Floyd near Wyoming and Northeastern when the shootout began. Unsealed court documents say Floyd was trafficking guns and drugs from his stash house near Central and Tramway, and Floyd had been on the FBI's radar for nearly two years. In the last 12 days, FBI investigators got a tip that Floyd posted mul multiple firearms for sale that included AR-15 rifles and AK-47s. Agents also say Floyd was trafficking women and tied to a string of robberies and assaults. According to APD, in 2019, KTP was responsible for nearly a third of gang-related shootings in Albuquerque. All the information we had on known uh, shootings, they were involved in 30 percent and if you think about that, you know, for one group of individuals to be involved in a third of the shootings within the city, at the time it was just a tremendous amount of, uh, of violence that was associated with this gang. Detectives also noted five to six dog kennels in the front yard of Floyd's stash house. They say he was known to breed and sell, quote, bully breed dogs on Facebook. Albuquerque Animal Welfare tells us they last made contact with Floyd in 2016 and he faced multiple charges connected to animal abuse and neglect, but they were all dismissed. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Francesca. Now, Chief Medina tells us there are two other gangs they are concerned about, and that is where they plan to direct their resources next. Hands up! Hands up! Put your hands up! Put them up! Hands up! Hey, dude, you told me you're gonna get shot, bro. Get your hands off that door. Get them out. Open the door. Open the door. Team three is executing. Get your hands up! Open the door! Take down, take down, take down. Get out of the ground before you shot. You good, Brian? Stand by, stand Shots by. Fired. Shots fired. Shots fired. Shots fired. Shots fired. Shots fired. So you have to be advised, shots were fired, suspect is down. Get out of the way! Move out of the way! Drop the gun! FBI, drop the gun! Move it out, move it, move it! Northeastern in Wyoming.
is biting too much off the drug pile. Why else would these guys want to shoot them on sight? Speaking of shooting, there had been a murder just two blocks away. I can't tell you much what, the, what it's about. All I can tell you is this guy can start killing. This is the spot, man. It happened in that parking lot? I want to see if the cops will talk to me and tell me about the incident. It's, it supposedly it happened right across the street. All it was was a, a fight between Bloods and Crips. It was? Um, okay. Yeah. Over here in New Mexico. We didn't yeah. even know they, they're here. And there's holes that go okay. straight through the brick. It wow. Was, okay. It's an AK-47, but you'll see it. Oh, an AK? Yeah. What surprised me was when I asked the police officers who was between, they said it was between the Bloods and the Crips. I said the Bloods and the Crips in New Mexico? Bloods and the Crips started in L.A. So there's another two gangs that run wild in New Mexico. There's a bullet hole here, a bullet hole here, another bullet hole right here, another one right here. And then all of a sudden it goes up and you got a bullet hole up here. Whoever took out the AK-47 sprayed it, sprayed it. You could not get out of the way of those bullets. You're dead. There's, no, there's nowhere to go. You're against the wall. The dude's spraying an AK-47, goes right up the wall with it. You are dead. No way to get out of that. And these, you could see, you could see the impact of these bullets. This is a cement wall. Imagine what that does to your skull if it took a, a piece like that out of a wall. In one night, there's a different gang on every corner. And more often than not, if they're locked up, they join under one banner, the Burkenos. On this episode of Albuquerque Gangland, we'll be profiling the gang, KTP or KTU, which stands for Kirktown Piru. They're located west of the Kirtland Air Force Base. Their neighborhood is like Mulberry Street to the west and I-25 and uh, University to the east and the Sunport and uh, Gibson to the north and they're gonna be having like the Sunport Road to the south some of the roads they have right there in their neighborhood are gonna be like Spence Street, Spruce Street, Wheeler, Alamo, uh, San Jose Boulevard goes into their neighborhood there, uh, Gerald and Loveless they got that little community right in there, and that's the Kirtland community. Again, these guys are, are called uh, Kirkland Piru, you know, KTP, Kirktown Piru. You know, and they're ruthless. They're Albuquerque originals, you know. They've been around for a long time. I want to give a shout out to Boop, to Pee Wee, to Kano, to Rock, and the Low Baby, rest in peace. Again, and these guys are located... Uh, just to the east of San Jose, Familia, San Jose neighborhood was on the other side of the freeway. So they beef with those guys. And then um, to the north of them, they have Juaritos Maravillas. So they beef with those guys on that side, JMV. And then um, they have the Air Force Base, which is going to be to the east of them. And that's their little neighborhood in there, man. And these guys are Piru. They're Bloods, like I said, so they represent that red. They're uh, prematurely, you know, uh, African-American gang, but they're a major gang. So, so with that being said, they have a lot of members that are also Mexican and white. These guys put down all races. But like I said, they're prematurely an African-American gang located on the southeast side of the Albuquerque. And these guys are with the business, man. They uh, push a lot of weight. Like Pee Wee used to say, man, they got boulders as big as Superman's shoulders. You know, and uh, yeah, they stay pushing weight, they push guns, they got their hands in everything, you know, old school Albuquerque original gang, I believe they originated from the Piru's out of California, but they've actually taken on their own identity here in Albuquerque, and they hold their own, like I said, they beef with Juaritos Maravillas, they beef with San Jose, and they also beef with a lot of Crips from the war zone, uh, rolling 20s, rolling 40s, rolling 60s, 
rolling 90s, rolling 30s, all those guys up there from the war zone, they beef with them. So again, this is a KTP, Kirkland, Kirktown, Pyru. You know, these guys wear red, and they're part of the whole Pyru clip. You know, they're bloods. They beef with the uh, Stone Rangers also, and, Vo and Vice Lords, but I believe that they call the truce with the Stone Rangers. And man, yeah, shout out to these guys. Albuquerque Originals, representing that Pyru from out of Southeast Albuquerque. I gave their uh, location in their neighborhood already. Uh, rest in peace to one of their young leaders that we saw in the videos and the news clips in the beginning there. And again, with that being said, these guys needed the feds to come down on them along with other agencies to try to crack down and take them out. That's how serious these guys are in the business, you know. They stay with their gang, stay pushing their weight. So shout out to all the boys right here from, uh, you know, KTP. KTU. That's Kirktown Pyru. You'll see wearing them these these wearing these P hats. You know that's for Pyru. Rest in peace to this guy here. That was one of their young soldiers here, and you see him with the Pyru gear right here. You'll see him always wearing that. K T P. Albuquerque Originals, man. They hold their own. Very feared. Give law, law enforcement big time troubles, man. Shout out to these guys.